Hey, Jiu Jitsu fans, it's Coach Roy. Um, in this episode, we're going to be talking about fundamental pieces of wisdom that are so, so important. So, I wanted to go to two influential people in my Jiu Jitsu career that um, I think say it the best. I hope that these couple morsels will help you along your jujitsu journey and help you to overcome some of the things that might be holding you back or giving you a false sense of um, delayed uh, progress. But either way, stay on the mats, keep on training, and I hope this video helps. A bunch of people come up to me. They still want to start doing jujitsu. What advice would you give them? Try to absorb as much technique as you can and try to be as relaxed as you can. Don't, you know, don't desperately try to fight so hard. Like learn and move slow. Move slow and relax. That's the hardest thing to do. <laughs> The hardest. <laughs> it's hard to even know that you're not relaxed. They don't even know what it feels like to relax. I don't even know they're tense. Yeah, right. They try not... to relax. They look at you, say, "What? Yeah. What do you mean, relax? I'm yeah. relaxed." <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. The arms are shaking. <laughs> <laughs> you feel it. And in terms of going slow, they're like, "Yeah, well, I'm going slow." No, you're you're not. There's a lot of people that do jujitsu for decades and don't get better. No, because they don't train the way they should. They don't train to get better, they train to get tough. There's a big difference. Most people, they train to get tough, so they are tough. You know, like we were talking before, they don't practice the weakness. You want to be good at, you want to be really good at jujitsu. you have to practice your weakness, not your strength. You have to practice everything, but you have to be equally strong in every position. They're all exactly the same. What makes the difference between the successful your successes and your failures as a coach? Um, a range of reasons. The single most important is persistence. Um, people will point to all kinds of virtues amongst athletes. This guy's the most courageous. This guy's the strongest. These are all virtues. But the one indispensable virtue is persistence. The ability just to stay in the game long enough to get the results you seek. Okay, coming into the gym and just doing the same thing for a decade isn't going to make you better. What's going to make you better is progressive training over time where you identify clear goals marked out in time increments, three months, six months, 12 months, five years. Most people, when they get to black belt, they get bored. They know what their game is, they know what they're good at, they know what they're not good at. When they compete, they stick with what they're good at and they avoid what they're not good at. Yeah. And they get bored. They reach a plateau and that's it. You should come out of the training session with your mind buzzing with ideas, like possibilities for tomorrow. 